Hi my dear students. So today we have to discuss the concepts of our second chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance. In this chapter we have two parts electrostatic potential that is the first part and capacitance that will be the second part of the chapter. So here we are going to learn the concepts that is electric potential. First we have to learn its definition and we have to learn electric potential due to point charge, electric potential due to system of charges. So all the concepts related to that electric potential of a dipole. Here we are going to study the concepts of equipotential surfaces, electric potential energy, uh, electrostatics of conductors, capacitors and capacitance. One more topic that is Van de Graaff generator. So the weightage of the chapter will be eight marks so we can expect either one derivation or one numerical for five marks from this chapter now let us first we have to understand the concepts of electric potential see without understanding this concepts of electric potential it seems to be very difficult to go through entire chapter already we know that if we have a charge if that charge let us just consider so here I am going to consider a charge so let us just consider I am considering a charge Q and the, that charge is a source charge Already we are familiar with the concepts of source charge, right? What do you mean by a source charge? A charge which produces electric field is called source charge. And I am going to consider its polarity as plus Q. So now, if it is a source charge, it will produce electric field around it, right? And now, I am going to consider one more charge that is plus q let us consider this as a test charge which is initially present at infinity and we already know that the field at infinity due to this source charge is zero so it is producing the electric field around it but the electric field value at a far off distance that is at infinity it must be treated as zero so now instead of placing the charge that is a test charge at infinity let us consider the test charge would have been placed at some point a where that point a lies in the region of electric field produced by the source charge so if we want to move the test charge that means if we want to move this test charge which is initially at infinity to point A so we have to move this test charge from infinity to point A obviously both are having same polarity this is also positive charge and this is also positive charge so what kind of force they experience we already know that like charges will repulse we have studied that concepts in our first chapter so because of the same polarity they will repel with each other but if we want to move this test charge from infinity to point A we have to overcome that repulsive force so we are doing some work by doing some work we can overcome that repulsive force and that test charge must be placed at position A we already know that electric field is not same at all the points as a distance increases from the source charge the electric field value decreases because we have the expression e is equals to 1 by 4 pi r naught q by r square where r is the distance and electric field is inversely proportional to square of the distance that means 
if distance is more electric field value is less let us consider one more point i am going to consider point b so which is our second point point b so now instead of moving the test charge from infinity to point a now i want to move that test charge from infinity to point b so again martha adive ee test charge na infinity inda a ge tarlike work maadbeku anta gothayitu so let us just forgot about a and think of b we are doing work once again to bring the test charge from infinity to point b now also we have to do some work so that work done in order to bring the test charge from infinity to point b will not equal to that of work done in case of a because point b lies closer to the source charge means electric field at b is more that means the force of repulsion is more at b so in order to overcome that more force of repulsion we have to do some more work that means here we are going to conclude the work done to move a test charge will be different at different points whatever the work we are going to do that work done will store as potential energy and we are calling it as a electric potential energy keep the thing in mind electric potential energy is not same at all points it varies from one point to another point because we know that here we have the source charge and that source charge will produce some electric field and this electric field varies inversely with the distance hence work done in order to move a test charge from infinity to different points will be different so now it's a time to understand the definition of electric potential energy yes electric potential energy the electric potential energy of a charge q at any point in electric field is defined as that means here we are going to study electric potential energy of that small charge where it has been placed that small charge has been placed in electric field produced by the source charge it is very easy definition electric potential energy of a charge q at any point in an electric field is defined as amount of work done in moving that charge from where to where from infinity to the given point against the field if we observe the diagram we are moving the test charge from infinity to point a as well as from infinity to some other point such as b always we are moving that test charge against to the direction of electric field so electric field for point charge it is outwards and here we have to move the test charge from infinity to a or b that is always we are moving that against to the direction of electric field so electric potential energy of a charge at any point in an electric field is defined as amount of work done in moving that charge from infinity to the given point against a field now we have to understand the definition of electric potential so what makes the difference between electric potential energy and electric potential almost they seems to be same and only the thing here we have to move the unit charge instead of test charge that means instead of q we have to now consider unit charge electric potential electric potential at a point in an electric field is defined as amount of work done in moving a unit charge from infinity to that point against a field what kind of charge unit charge from where to where from infinity to the given 
respective point against the field so clearly we are considering if w is a work done in moving a charge q naught from infinity to a given point then the potential at that point is given by v is equals to w by q naught v is equals to w by q naught let us consider that q naught has unit charge then potential energy will become electric potential and one more important thing here we have considered two points point a and point b whether the potential at a and b is same no because we are doing different works to reach point a as well as to reach point b therefore there is some potential difference between these two points let us try to understand the definition of potential difference the potential difference between any two point is defined as amount of work done in moving a unit charge from one point to another point against the field so here work done to move a unit charge from infinity to b is more because at b our position is more we have to do more work but at a the opposition is less so work done is less so now potential difference between these two points that is vb minus va vb minus va because vb is more than va so here we should not use that word from infinity because here we are using the two points as reference points that is a and b the potential difference between any two points is defined as again amount of work done in moving a unit charge from one point to another against the field against the field means here we have to compulsorily move from a to b that is from lower potential to higher potential no need of work done to move a charge from higher potential to lower potential so it is always very important to keep one thing in mind we are moving the charges against to the direction of electric field that requires work done so we have to remember very important three definitions that is definition of electric potential energy electric potential and potential difference so electric potential energy it's very simple the electric potential energy of a charge q at any point that means either it may be point a or point b in electric field is defined as the amount of work done in moving that charge from where to where infinity to that point against a field infinity to that point against a field so whatever the work we have done to move that charge from infinity to the given point will be stored as electric potential energy the second definition electric potential electric potential at a point in an electric field is defined as amount of work done in moving a unit charge from infinity to that point against the field and we have the def equation form p is equals to w by q not where we have to consider that q not as a unit charge under w that is the amount of uh, work done then v stands for the electric uh, potential and now potential difference so for this potential difference we have to consider two points here we should avoid using the word infinity okay the potential difference between any two points is defined as the amount of work done for what in moving a unit charge from one point to another point against a field that means always we have to move from lower potential to higher potential against the field so potential difference w by q not here we are writing potential difference that is vb minus va highest potential minus 
lowest potential so it is very important to understand these three definitions